I'm super excited to do this video for you on this channel because it's been highly requested. A lot of you ask great questions around it. A lot of you have thoughts on how you would feel, how this acts and performs. And today, it's all about the four blade propeller on the Cirrus SR22 Turbo. And the best part is we've got Sarah Tolucci. She's a good friend of mine. She works with me at Cirrus and a lot of you follow her on Instagram at Cirrus Sarah. And she just flew this plane to California and back. So we're gonna to talk to her a little bit about what she felt while flying this across the country and back. But before we get going, please like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the thumbs up button and the notification bell. There's a lot of great things coming down the pipeline that helps so much. Leave a comment and enough of that. Let's get to this four blade prop. So my first impression walking up to this propeller is that it's super slick. It just gives a different look and a refreshed kind of vibe around the SR. It's something I actually had a little personal feeling around it, wondering if it was going to actually look good or not. You know, uh, I love it. Being up close to it, uh, my initial thoughts are that this thing actually looks a little bit more aggressive. You guys all on the channel know that my favorite angle to look at the airplane is right here. And it just looks updated, fresh. It has an aggressive look my like overall a kind of aesthetic feel around this is that I'm quite pleased with how this looks. If we get a little bit closer here and I feel the blades and the prop you know, from the original three blade propeller to this uh, four blade prop uh, is that the, the kind of the shocking difference is that the blades are a lot thinner or less not as wide as the three blade prop. That sort of makes sense because you have four of these as you get around but What's really wild is that they, uh, that, that I was, I'm actually pretty surprised by how thin they are. One of my feelings around this is that kind of initial thoughts without not having flown this before is that, uh, it, you know, we might be able to glide a little bit farther or on landing, we'll get a little bit more of a float. And the three blade prop uh, propeller, you're really able to lean on this, the wide thickness of the, of the three blade prop is a kind of a little air brake. For those of you who have flown it before and kind of reduced the power, uh, you know exactly what that means. But this looks really cool. Um, getting up front here, I get a lot of questions on how this sounds in flight. Is it smoother? Is it quieter? And, uh, and all that. So we're gonna check that out here. But I think the aesthetic appeal of this prop is so cool. It looks great. Give you some good zoomed in looks on what this looks and feels like. It's got the same kind of composite feel to it, the nickel edge here that looks really nice. The prop tips are great. And then um, right in here, there's our de-icing uh, uh, pipettes. So the de-ice fluid actually flows out of this little pipette into these channels on this boot. A lot of people think this is an electronic boot, but it's not. These are just, uh, uh, de or they think it's electronic de-ice heat for the boot, but it's not. This, the fluid literally drips into these channels, spreads out, and uh, breaks the ice off, and ultimately sprays it back onto the windscreen. It works really, really well, but I think it looks really good. It's kind of a, a, a unique, fresh look, like I was saying, but I'm curious to think about what you guys think of the aesthetics. Leave a comment below. Uh, and just let me know what your initial thoughts on how this thing looks. All right, let's go in and let's take it around the pattern real quick. Just for comparison's sake, here's exactly the three blade propeller and how big this thing is. So you can see how much wider that is. I think it still looks really sharp. I kind of like these little flares that go on the outside, but much, much bigger. Big paddle up front and, um, and all that. Super cool. So this is awesome. We're about ready to go flying. But the first thing that I saw when we got in is that this is a different look. I'm not normally used to seeing two blades uh, out the window like this. I think it looks sharp. It's a little bit different, fresh. I'm still kind of getting used to the um, how the narrow the, the prop blades are. And they don't have that wideness of the, of the three blade. But I think it looks good. All right, enough of that. Before we go flying, I want to talk to Sarah real quick, get her thoughts and what she felt while flying all the way to California and back. She's going to fly with us, and here we go. 
this is awesome. We're about ready to fire up. And my good friend, Sarah Tolucci, you follow her on Instagram at Sarah Sarah. And she's literally famous. We're down here at the Knoxville airport and she walked into the FBO and people started to see her and talk to her and be like, are you serious, Sarah? Well, that's her. It's awesome. She's going to fly with us. But the best part is, is that she flew all the way to California and back with this airplane. And how did people feel when they saw a Cirrus with four blades pull up on the ramp? We got a lot of really good reactions this week. Um, all of the line guys stopped and asked questions. A lot of pilots stopped and asked questions. A lot of Cirrus owners were around. So we were able to talk to a lot of people about it. Yeah, awesome. That's cool that there's good reaction around it. And how about when you were flying? Anything that you noticed right off the bat when, we, when you were up flying? Yeah, I mean, I personally thought that it was a little bit quieter, a little bit smoother. Um, and I did notice that it floated a little bit more on landing. It wasn't like the traditional three blade, blade prop where, um, where it's kind of more of a speed break. So there was a little bit more float on landing, which made them nice and smooth. Awesome. Well, we're going to go out and fly. Sarah's going to show me her best tips and tricks so that we can get it and show you. And let's go for a flight. So we're taxiing out to runway five right and I'm getting really excited. And as part of this, I am just gonna play the takeoff uh, and stop talking just so you can hear for yourself if you hear a difference. I'll let you make the decision um, and listen to this. This is shot for, off of my, literally just my cell phone and my iPhone. So um, forgive the audio, but for those of you who are regular flyers, maybe you can hear a difference. And like I said, I'll let you make the decision. Let me know what you think. So we're just capturing and leveling off at 4,500. And if you look at the airspeed indicator here, you can see that we're starting to accelerate. That's really important, as I feel. We wanna let the airplane build the speed. I'm gonna now pull the power back, just like in a regular SR-22 turbo, pull the power back to 30 and a half inches of manifold pressure and bring the fuel flow using the mixture and the fuel flow indicator down to the blue cyan line. I normally set my fuel flow somewhere around 17.4, 17.5 gallons per hour. I think that's a great power setting to be nice to the engine and uh, still get some decent performance out of the airplane and uh, just kind of let the airplane settle out at its final true air speed here while, uh, while we're cruising. So I want to shift over now to give you a little bit of the performance view of now that we've leveled out set up leaned out for cruise here at 4500 and if we look down and look at our true airspeed the true airspeed is very typical of what we would see with the three bridge propeller so as far as performance goes here at 4500 feet not too off base i'm also going to go and give a noise check i've got a little uh, decibel readout on the on my phone and leveling out somewhere around 83 to 85 decibels is basically what you would get in a three blade composite prop uh, on the SR22 Turbo. So the sound profile is relatively the same. I do feel a little bit different of a vibration profile, but um, a huge shoot shout out to uh, Sarah for, for helping with this. 
Anyway, we're lining up going back into Knoxville and uh, just speeding up the flight here so that we set up uh, for an approach to runway five right. And uh, I'm basically on, you know, within 500 feet here. Sarah's doing a great job of uh, filming for us. And the things that I'm feeling are that I'm, um, the airplane has its own natural momentum, which is really, really cool. I've got in the flare here, I wanna to try to slow down. I actually ended up feeling that I need to pull the power early. And I have this little light flare here that you're able to kind of feel. And the other thing that I noticed is that I was able to hold the nose off a lot longer uh, because I didn't have the drag profile of those wide three blade props. I really like this. This is, if you want to get good at your landings, you can feather it a little bit and, and use that momentum. I feel like that's going to be a really good thing for us, our 22 turbo pilots, and they're going to love it. So we just parked and finished the flight here at the Cirrus Aircraft Vision Center, and man, I got to say that I really like it. It's my first flight in it, and my impressions are that it it has this really good sounding, deep kind of rumble to it. it sounds very aggressive. It's different. It's fresh. And kind of makes you feel good as you're flying you know the climb the takeoff it, it was it felt about the same as a three blade prop but where i really noticed a difference was on landing normally the three blade prop has a little bit of a kind of a firmness or stiffness on the landing and if you nail your power settings you can make a great landing but on this four blade i had a little extra feather of a float that played a big difference and i can see where you can get really good on instrument approaches and that becomes a benefit and uh and your flares and touchdowns to make great approaches and great landings at all the time but a huge shout out and a thank you to my good friend sarah tolucci make sure you follow her on instagram at sarah sarah she's a great camera person always a fun person to fly with and uh just it's awesome anyway thanks so much for watching if you like this video subscribe to the channel press the thumbs up button and ring the notification bell there's lots of cool things that are coming and until next time fly safe and fly well